Weibo. Once again, whenever we talk about Weibo, we're talking about stuff leaked from China. Interesting rumor has been kicking around on Weibo. There's a Weibo post talking about the next installments of the Masterpiece movie line, the MPM. And what are those two? Well, it seems revealed at the event in Shanghai, China on January 26th, we're going to find out that the next two MPMs are going to be MPM 08 Megatron and mm -hmm. MPM 09 Jazz. Now, which, now, yeah, exactly. Now, which Megatron that'll be, we don't know, but probably if I'm going to take a guess, they're going to start with the original movie Megatron, which would be very interesting to see being tackled and i think that out of all the movie megatron designs i think it's the one that needs to be revisited the most because those toys <laughs> um you know like optimus luckily kind of because he kept the same form more or less for like at least three movies his toy was able to evolve as the line evolved with him and we you know like if you have a really good revenge of the fallen leader class optimus prime he kind of fits in for your movie Optimus Prime from the 2007 movie and still right. also kind of fits in if you want him to fit in for your Dark of the Moon Optimus. But Megatron kept getting a new body every movie. <laughs> so all the designs and everything and, and engineering that went into that first like jet movie Optimus, uh, movie uh, Megatron from 2007, the second that movie was done there was no reason to revisit that design. So right. then they started focusing on the tank one for Revenge of the Fallen. And when the tank one was done, they then started tackling the truck one for Dark of the Moon and moving forward into the Galvatron mold and so forth. So it'll be really interesting 10 years plus later that they're going to be revisiting um, this old movie Megatron design that really, in my opinion, personally, never really got a good toy. Um, never, uh, not never got a really good transforming toy. I mean to say, so right. like it, it just, it just again, it was the limitations of what existed. Uh, probably again, the communication of the designs that were being used for the movie measured against Hasbro having to put out the product and engineer it in time. So it'll be really interesting to see how it's done. It's also interesting seeing that these two are paired together because it was 2007 movie Megatron that killed uh, Jazz. So yeah, it's I, like basically on my social feed, I kept seeing a lot of people posting up. Uh, you know how how do you want your, how do you like your jazz? Half half like top half or bottom half? And I'm like uh. <laughs> two pieces. <laughs> like I know you like it in two pieces, but how, do you want the top half? You want the bottom half? You know, like just um, it, it'll I think be kind someone else. Someone else made another uh, like joke relating to jazz and. Um, What's his name? Uh, Bumblebee repaint. What's his name oh, again? Oh, uh, Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper, and I'm like, oh, why the so two, mean? The two Porsches. <laughs> two Porsches are getting killed. What's going on oh, here? Oh man. Well, no no, well, not not well. Movie wise, not even a Porsche. Yeah, not even a you Porsche. Know, Pontiac Solstice, you know. So I, th I think that's what the running. Maybe that could have been a little bit of part of that. I don't know, because like all of a sudden that joke started popping up again, and I was like, wonder why. That's and then this comes out. Well, you know so, I mean? so far we we haven't had a jazz. Is this gonna that, be a two pack? And then like it just so happens jazz is broken in the box. Yeah, God. <laughs> or, or part part of his gimmick is he splits in half. You exactly. See, and that, that was the funny thing because I remember when they did the final battle movie jazz toy, which was just a repaint of the deluxe jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, because of his transformation involves him kind of splitting in half, but it's still it's attached by a hinge, so he doesn't right. truly split in half. But it's always been like, I remember people would like display it, Larry's he's like he's split in half and stuff. So, uh. I mean, either way, point <laughs> is, it's really cool. If we get a, I mean, I think it's great that we're getting a movie, a movie masterpiece jazz because as much as I like the Studio Series one, I found it was way too small for his price point. Now, granted, he is a small character because of what mm -hmm. he turns into and scale is very important for Studio Series. But man, like that was a expensive pill to swallow for his size yeah. when i saw him like in stores and box i was like dude this is like a basic figure <laughs> you know like it was just i was surprised but i mean it was it was way better than anything we've gotten up to that point outside of let's say the human alliance one mm -hmm. but uh, still like I i'm looking forward to this and especially the megatron too because that that's another design that really needs to be revisited 
and updated. And I'm very curious how the current ha- uh, excuse me the current Takara designers are going to tackle that, especially at a masterpiece price point. 